one oh gosh welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministries international videos i am kenneth J, and so i'm just gonna get right into this video dear heavenly father i thank you for another day you are worthy to be praised mm. thank you jesus i'm gonna need daddy okay I apparently said you want me to say get off this camera in Jesus' name. I pray I save the right souls today. Those who long and want to be with you, near you, grow in you. I pray I do my job as a good steward. Hallelujah, daddy. Server. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I forgot I'm a server. In Jesus' name, I pray I wash your feet, daddy. Hallelujah. I serve the people who need to be. Ha! I serve them, daddy, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So, <sighs> all right, guys. I was just going to say Acts 1, verse 8, and give revelation. Amen. Okay. Okay. So the reason why I be smiling and laughing is because the Holy Spirit be showing me something or someone so it be funny or yeah, it just be funny. So anyway guys so the lord is really telling me to talk about something and i'm just like ah Okay, I will be reading from Acts 1, 1 verse 8. Yes, y'all, I keep seeing the Lord want me to elaborate on these dreams I've been having. Welcome, everyone. Hallelujah, welcome. Hallelujah. If you're new, if you're new to this channel, this is Predestined, Predestined Kingdom Ministries international videos where we do a lot of uplifting encouragement and we study the word of god first and foremost um and that's pretty much it we get closer to the lord here so anyway in my dream i've been seeing someone and I know how the Lord want me to explain it. It's so like, ugh, it's a lot. Anyway, hold on, guys. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. So I had this dream, right? And in this dream, and there was a man. Okay, in this dream, it was like I was with an ex, right? Or okay, no. Let me just let me just read what I wrote down. That's better. The Lord say just read what you wrote. <laughs> oh, that's not my dream book. Sorry. I had to go to my dream book. All right. So in a dream, it was like a city or a town right i was in a city or a town and soldiers took over and held people hostage right and so my ex was there and i thought it was okay right and because my ex was there mind you this is the same ex i thought the lord was leading me to be with so i guess plans change right <laughs> So the new person who I'm actually like, I really like, 
I really love, honestly. I just woke up one day and I was just like, I love this person. It was weird. <laughs> I was trying to fight it this whole time and it was just like, no, -uh, you can't fight it no more. So anyway, this person came and tapped. I was sitting next to the ex, right? <laughs> I was. We were sitting there being held hostage. We saw these people going and so the so this other man or this other person came. He tapped me on my my shoulder. And he was like, "Let's go." I was like, "Oh shoot!" <laughs> I was like, "Whoa!" And so I got up, and then the dream ended. Right? Okay. So, moral of that story is there is nowhere you could go and god won't save you for you moral of the dream for you not for me i'm not give all my details out for this dream but for you moral of that dream is is no matter where you go no matter what is happening god will always send an angel to come save you and come help you even when you think you're making the right decisions like there's it, Shabbat. There's always an angel of the living God there with you. Okay? Praise the Lord. <laughs> now, we're going to read Acts 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Okay. So, one of the things the Lord was showing me, the difference between Jesus and other people known as rabbi, is that Jesus was different. And what made him different from other people was that he possessed the spiritual authority of God himself. Okay, so you had other people that was healing, you had other people that were teaching, but Jesus had the authentic power and author and spiritual authority of the living God, of Father God, Jesus Christ, sorry, and the qualities of a leader. And also Jesus understood the Torah. And if you don't know what the Torah is, it's actually the five books of Moses. And here on this channel, we're on like the third book. We're on Leviticus. So we're doing pretty okay here. But um, Jesus had a very good understanding of the five books of Moses. And like I said, his spiritual authority from Father God. That's what made him dip different. He was authentic. Like God himself found favor on Jesus Christ, called Jesus to come save nations. So we are the witness in 2022. If the Lord finds grace and mercy upon you, God will, what God will do miracles in front of you. Um, sometimes, sometimes you're going to be a witness to sinful people, people who don't own up to, um, People who don't own up to what they've done, people who lie, people who are narcissistic. They say they didn't do it, but they did, or they lie them, they lie their way out of stuff. Like you've been called to witness the good and the bad with the Lord. And so that's all the Lord wanted to say today. Okay. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs>